Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Feast Diffusion. I know it's been a while. I kept you all waiting for my next interesting recipe. Well, today uh, I'm going to cover a popular and traditional delicacy of South Indian cuisine called Meen Pollichudu. Uh, the word Meen in Kerala's local language means fish and Pollichudu means roasted or grilled. Traditionally, uh, this is prepared with uh, pearl spot fish uh called as curry meen uh this is abundantly available in kerala backwaters however it's hard to find it here in uk so i'm going to use uh, local sea bream which is widely available another customization that i would be following today is uh, i will be using kitchen foil uh, instead of banana leaves for grilling the fish if you are a fish lover then this recipe is a must try for you The process involves four steps uh, to start with marination of the fish and then preparation of the spicy sauce then we fry the fish on the pan then grill it in the oven for marination i've got two sea breams cleaned and slit on both the sides uh, for the spices to properly get into the meat uh, so i've taken one tablespoon of red chili powder half tablespoon of turmeric half tablespoon of black pepper powder and half tablespoon of salt i've squeezed half fresh lime uh, adding a bit of water and then i'll add a little of uh, oil sunflower oil uh, just to make a good paste of of it and then apply it on the uh, fish gently rub it across the fish Uh, ensure uh, the spices the paste gets into the slit portion well this this allows the flavors to get into the fish while we set it aside after applying i'm trying to make sure the spices get into every corner of the fish so all the flavors get into the meat Once you think uh, you're done, set it aside for 15 to 20 minutes. While we set it aside, uh, let's start with uh, preparing the spicy sauce. I've taken a pan, uh, adding 4 tablespoons of oil. Uh, you can take sunflower oil and now I've got some cumin and mustard seeds. I've got some finely chopped green chili, around 4 green chilies. and uh, three big onions finely chopped so going to fry that in the oil uh, try to cook the onion um, uh, ensure the pungent smell is out uh, once it's light brown uh, we will add some uh, ginger garlic paste so i'll take uh, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and stir well uh, ensure the uh, pungent smell is out again it's time to add all the spices so i've got 1 uh, tablespoon of red chili powder 1/2 tablespoon of turmeric powder 1 tablespoon of garam masala 1 tablespoon of salt 1 tablespoon of coriander powder we've got 1 tablespoon of fish masala that's optional again I've got some methi powder, fenugreek powder. Let's add everything uh, to the fried onion and uh, keep stirring well uh, such that it doesn't get burnt at the bottom. Let all the spices cook well um, uh, along with the onion. So after adding the spices at least stir for 5 minutes and uh, once you feel the spices are cooked uh, we will be adding two finely chopped tomatoes This will give nice tangy uh, uh, flavor uh, to the spicy sauce So once we ensure the tomatoes are mixed well with the spices uh, let's shut the uh, pan with the lid and cook it on steam for 2 to 3 minutes 
which will allow the tomatoes to blend well with the mix and it makes the uh, paste moist and we'll add some chopped coriander and that will add to the flavor and once we stir well uh, we have our spicy curry sauce ready so let's move to the next step of frying fish on the pan I've got a flat pan where I'm adding uh, 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil. Uh, once the oil uh, is heated, uh, try adding some cumin and mustard seeds. Uh, if you got some uh, curry leaves, please do add them. That also adds to the flavor. So this dish uh, usually is crispy from outside and soft from inside. So just to make the outer layer crispy, we fry the fish, not completely cook on, on the pan, uh, but still ensure the outside layer uh, is crispy. So let's fry the marinated fish uh, until the outer layer becomes crispy. Ensure it's not burnt and you tilt it around uh, timely and uh, let it be uh, light brown in color and not uh, completely burn it. So once uh, we have uh, the fish ready, uh, it's time to wrap it up in the silver foil uh, by bedding it with the spicy sauce. So I've got a tray, uh, I've got the silver uh, foil. So I'm trying to layer uh, the spicy sauce that we prepared earlier and once once we layer the spicy masala uh, we try to bed the fish on top of it and uh, try to fill it with more masala uh, wrap it around and then we try to grill it uh, in the oven this is a high protein dish uh, and is perfect for everyone including those who are trying to lose weight and eat healthy uh, compared to any other fish fry recipe this recipe has a lower calorie count so i can call it as a healthier dish so i've got the layer of masala laid uh, on the bottom so on top of that i'm placing the fried fish uh, and then we'll layer another portion of the sauce on top of the fish so once uh, we wrap it and grill it so this allows all the uh, spices from the from the sauce uh, and the flavors get into the meat so that makes it softer and uh, you will feel all the various flavors uh, from the meat when you start having it Finally, we'll uh, garnish with some chopped coriander uh, before wrapping it. I'm trying to add the remains of the fried fish uh, so uh, all the spices and flavors in it uh, gets into the fish. Ideally, if you are able to find banana leaves, I would suggest uh, to wrap uh, the fish in the banana leaves. So that gives a different flavor uh, to the fish, it gives a different aroma. Um, but since we are short of the banana leaves, I'm trying to use the silver foil here. So I've got both the fish wrapped with the masalas. Uh, this goes into the oven, uh, not the grill. I'm putting it on the oven and uh, cook it for 30 minutes on 220 degrees. So it's past 30 minutes now, uh, let's have a look. So I can sense the amazing aroma coming off uh, um, the oven. So it's so you can see all the oil uh, is oozed out uh, from the fish. So it's only the pure uh, spices and the meat uh, that, that is inside the wrap. So I, I can sense that nice amazing aroma coming off uh, the fish this fish recipe uh, can be served at any get together where you can relish with your loved ones and 
can be served on its own or it can be served alongside the rice uh, it's up to you how you like it so friends what are you waiting for just go grab the ingredients uh, make this mouth watering dish just by following the simple steps i mentioned here and don't forget to share your thoughts in in the comment section i'll be back with more mouth watering and amazing recipes so thank you for watching i'll see you soon in the next video